Rosie, look, look, we have a quiet rope. Uh-huh, honey. Hey friends, so I can't believe it, but I'm almost 21. Legal in the States, woo! I can go to Vegas, I can have lots of fun, but uh, I want to first reflect upon what I learned while being 20. It was a year filled with adventure, so there's a lot of life lessons and some funny little things I learned too. So let's get right into <laughs> 20 things I learned while being 20. <laughs> These are in no particular order, but the first thing I learned is that puppies are a handful, but <laughs> they're so rewarding that they're worth the uh, time and effort, you could say. Rosie and I have really bonded this week. She's my best friend Jose's dog. They're off in Jamaica and I'm puppy sitting. That's right. So uh, I learned that maybe puppies are fun to have and maybe I'd get a dog, probably not. I'm a cat person through and through. But while being 20, I was able to see why people adopt these little creatures. Yeah, man's best friend. Hey, man's best friend. <laughs> the second thing I learned while being 20 is that money spent on travel is really never wasted. They say that money spent on experiences is better than money spent on things. And I really believe that. I traveled a lot while I was 20 around Canada, even to Japan. And even though it's a big investment, the experience, the cultures, the people, all the things that you run into make that money so worth it. And then you have stories to tell for the rest of your life. The third thing I learned while being 20 is a little bit of Japanese. Watashi wa Nihongo o benkyo shimashita. I think learning languages is so beneficial. It's something I'm really studying. Like I'm studying how to teach children a second language. And I find with more languages, it gives us so much more opportunity because like when I went to Japan, if I had known Japanese, I could have spoken to so many more people. I think I would have felt more at ease since I would be able to read the signs and understand what people are saying to me instead of being like, arigato, question mark. The fourth thing I learned is that it's okay to have a career change and you don't have to stick with what you were trained to do. And I think this is hard for a lot of people to accept. I know um, a lot of people are like, well, you got the degree, you got to use the degree, but sometimes you go through the whole program and then you're like, I don't know if this is for me. I, that's still kind of how I feel about teaching. I'm not completely sold yet. Through every new experience I have in the schools, I say, hey, maybe I could see myself doing that. But I just, I want to put it out there for everyone that you don't have to stick with what you're doing. Because if you're unhappy in your career, you're going to be unhappy in your life. Because that's potentially 40 hours of your week doing something that makes you miserable. I don't consider my time getting my degree wasted for sure. Like I'm thinking, hey, maybe I'll join the RCMP. Maybe I'll go on to my master's. Maybe I'll teach in different countries. There's so many options. I just learned that changing your mind is okay and a lot of people do it. You're not the only one. And I think sometimes if we feel like we're the only one, we feel really isolated and we end up hating what we're doing even more. But so many people change their mind. It's just normal, especially when you go into university right after high school. I am not the girl I was when I was 18, thank God. The fifth thing I learned is that it's not where you come from that you have to stay and you don't have to pick one city to live in the rest of your life. Before, I don't know, I thought I'd always live in Moose Jaw, and I'm home now and I love it. It's so familiar, it's my favorite place, but I've seen so much of the world that I'm like, I want to keep exploring and traveling. Maybe I'll live in New York for a year and then Montreal for five, maybe Japan for six months, but I don't know. I'm. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person that's really rooted to one place. I think we gain experience in every new place we go to, we meet new friends. So if you want to travel around and live in a bunch of different places, as long as you find someone who shares that mindset, then you're set to go. Or if you don't want to find somebody, do it yourself. Get a cat, they'll travel with you no matter where. The sixth thing I learned while being 20 is to trust your gut. This is something Sarah has always told me, but sometimes that feeling you feel in the pit of your stomach, it has a lot of truth. Your intuition can truly guide you. So if you don't feel right about doing something, don't do it. The seventh thing I learned while being 20 is that all nouns in German are capitalized. It's really easy then to pick out nouns, right? The eighth thing I learned while being 20 is that the medical field is 
probably not for me. <laughs> I did learn how to clean scopes and I worked in a hospital and I'm really fortunate I gained that experience because like I said, I was considering a career change into the medical field and now I'm like, yeah, mm, cat, that's not for you. You pass out over everything. But I met so many wonderful people and I got new experience. The ninth thing I learned while being 20 is how to spell schedule. Schedule has always been one of those words for me that I really don't know how to spell and I always question and I always use autocorrect for, but finally, while being 20, I put my foot down and I said, I'm finally going to learn how to spell this darn word, S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E, -E. schedule. Yeah, schedule is a big part of my life, being in university, so knowing how to spell it is quite essential. The tenth thing I learned while being 20, these videos are getting longer and longer is how to teach. I had a really good internship in Quebec and my internship teacher there really, I don't know, we worked together so well that it kind of brought me into wanting to go into that field again and I was so fortunate just to have her spark that love anew. Now I still question but I really gained a lot of professional experience. I did two more internships in my 20th year of life. Every new experience makes you more and more comfortable in the classroom. I can kind of start to see myself in school a little more and at the very least I gain life experience and public speaking experience. Okay can we not play with the squeaky squid during the video? Rosie look! Look, we have a quiet rope. The 11th thing I learned while being 20 is that karma is real. This was especially highlighted in Japan. They really emphasize good behavior in Japan because they all believe in karma. So that's why there isn't much crime there because people know their actions will have consequences. And I've seen this in my personal life too. Maybe it's treating others how you want to be treated. But whatever you put out into the universe, you'll get back and you'll experience. So if you hurt someone, you might be hurt in return. What goes around comes around, what you put out, you'll get back. So if you don't want to experience something, don't put it on others. <laughs> the twelfth thing I learned while being 20 is what community means. Whether this is my hometown going to war with Norway over moose statues, or meeting one person and meeting a whole group of new friends. Community is very important in our everyday lives, especially in modern society. Also, when I was in Quebec with the colleagues in my program, I learned what community was because we all would stick together and we were all in the same boat and we really supported each other because we knew we were all experiencing a similar situation. The thirteenth thing I learned while being 20 is just to be your genuine self. Like, don't necessarily try to impress anyone. Like, I've stopped putting up an act. I find even just watching my videos, I can see I'm a lot more my true self. I'm just, I feel so free being genuinely me and it's really liberating just living your life. I am who I am and I make mistakes and I try my best to be the best person I can be and if you love me for it, great. And if you don't, not everyone's gonna love everyone. You just gotta be yourself. The fourteenth thing I learned while being 20 is to always get insurance. Underline, highlight, exclamation point that one. Marilla and I went to Montreal back in March of last year and we had rented a car and said car got totaled while parked on the street but we had, even though it wasn't our fault, we had got the extra insurance so we didn't have to stress at all and it was a stressful situation so like I said just make the gamble and uh, get the insurance. The fifteenth thing I learned while being 20 is something I've struggled with most of my life but it's to form your own opinions. Sometimes to fit in, you go with what everyone's saying and I've always been a little vulnerable for that but if you like something or someone, you got to stand up for it. You know what I mean? And sometimes people will speak badly about something. And I think if you really do support the movie, the friend, whoever it may be, or whatever it may be, you got to say, hey, you know what? You guys have the right to your own opinion. That's fine. But I really like this movie. I think oftentimes I'm like, oh, if everyone's like, oh, I really hate Magic Mike. Oh my god, that's a poor example. I haven't even seen that movie. And I found that in high school too. If everyone like picked on someone or something, you kind of just want to fit in so bad that you say, oh yeah, me too. It comes down to not being a bystander sometimes. If you love something, be proud of what you love. Don't be ashamed of what you love. The 16th thing I learned while being, I was going to say 16. Whew. Okay, that was my finger and not the rope. So let's just be careful. Thank you. The 16th thing I learned while being 20 is that being active and doing fitness is really great. I've started going to the gym about three times a week and I usually do one fitness class per semester 
and it just makes you feel so much better about life. You get that extra energy out, it helps you with your anxiety, your body looks good, there's so many benefits, it just makes you healthier and you really feel it. The 17th thing I learned while being 20 is to share a bit less of my personal life. This has kind of been a hill in my life. Back when I was younger, I kept everything inside. I shared nothing with no one. I had a bunch of secrets and that was my life. Trust no one was my motto. And then I started to really open up to people and trust people and love sharing my everyday life, my everyday details, all my secrets. But to the point where I was sharing it with too many people and then certain things come out of context. So now I'm kind of back to like trusting no one, but I think the important thing is to find a few people to trust and to share your super personal stuff with. Doesn't have to be everyone, shouldn't be no one, but find a couple people and I think it's healthy. Then you get some feedback, you're able to get some things off your chest, but not in a way where everyone knows your business and then things get taken out of context and rumors are spread. So just find the people you trust and share your true feelings with them. I learned that tattoos don't hurt that bad and are a form of personal expression in modern society so it's becoming more and more accepted and I think it's just a great way to show the world who you are and what's important to you. The 19th thing I learned while being 20 is that it would take 23,034 slaps to cook a chicken and that's all taking into account the average hand size, its average speed with 23,034 slaps the heat from your hands would cook this chicken to 200 degrees or something. So, um, fun fact. And finally, the 20th thing I learned while being 20. I always keep the biggest one for the end. It's a tough one, but the 20th thing I learned while being 20 is that sometimes you have to let people go which is really tough for me personally because when I let someone into my life, I see all the good in them and I think of all the great times we have together. But sometimes it can be a friend, it can be an ex, it can be someone in your family. Even though there's blood, sometimes you have to let people go if you're not having a good relationship anymore or if talking to them is just hurting you or if you're bringing each other down, or if you're just not happy when this person is around. And I think that's really tough, but it comes down to not everyone will stay in your life. The important ones will. It's a tough pill to swallow, but sometimes you have to bid farewell to people, and sometimes it's better for them and it's better for you. If someone only causes you stress and anxiety, it's a toxic relationship, and it's better for both of you if you just let each other go. So friends, there's 20 things I learned while being 20. It was a crazy fun-filled year <laughs> with puppies and traveling and deep life lessons and personal growth. To sum it all up, you just mature, you gain experience, you make mistakes, you learn from them, you go on with more knowledge. See you friends. Say bye Rose. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? bye.